360 virtual home tours by Sam. This is Sam Dorfman, and we're in the viewing Matterport lecture number seven. And this is all about viewing Matterport using an iPhone. So we now have a model open and it's uh, the same one we've been using uh, for quite a while. Uh, Pier 5 condominium apartment 214 and you're viewing it on an iPhone. So the iPhone has two views. The one we're looking at now, which is portrait, and that's where the long uh, side is up and down. And then the other view is landscape, where the long side uh, is running uh, uh, left to right. So what are the differences? Well, at first, when you're using the iPhone, uh, the toolbar has one missing piece, which is on the far right, uh, which is the full screen. And you don't have that in either one of the uh, portrait or landscape views. Uh, but as far as uh, rotating, um, we can uh, put my finger around this thing. Can't see my finger, but I am rotating the screen using my finger for 360. Okay. We don't have a mouse wheel, but I can do a pinch, put two fingers on the screen and pinch them. And that'll get us closer and further away. And uh, what else is different? Oh, okay. Uh, the walking tour will be the same. Uh, I want to start walking. Uh, I can move the mouse reel again I'm using my finger instead of the, uh, I'm sorry, the highlight reel. I'm using my finger again instead of the mouse pointer. And I go into a spot, and I and I can walk using my finger to touch the spots. Okay, so I can still walk through the building. So let's look at this thing from the landscape view. And now you'll notice something interesting. The button for the highlight reel is completely gone, the button on the far left. And there is no highlight reel. And, uh, but you still have the play button. So if I hit the play button, we can still do our movie. And the advantage of looking at this thing in landscape is you get a widescreen view, which is kind of interesting. So that's it. Those are the differences. Um, the next video we're going to see will be using the um, virtual reality button. And uh, uh, there's no sense going into what it does, except that uh, to be prepared for this, uh, you're going to need the iPhone, which we're looking at. 
and you're going to need uh, a viewer mechanism uh, such as Google Cardboard. And uh, I have uh, something uh, of the same nature, but it's a, a little more expensive and a little more comfortable. Uh, it's called Next at EXT, and you can uh, buy it uh, on Amazon for like under 40 bucks. And that will give you a super duper, uh, hey, I'm really in the building feeling. So turn in for the, tune in for the next video. And that will be the second to last video. And the last one will just be some extra information.